Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we're continuing to look at the surface area of prisms and pyramids. This time, we're going to be looking at a rectangular prism, sort of like this eraser. The picture would look like this. Now, this time, I don't have a net made to show you, so I'm going to have to draw a net for myself. All right, let's, let's think about how this thing looks, what it's shaped like, and what the different rectangles are going to look like. I'm going to start, and this is going to be a very rough drawing. It's not going to be highly accurate. It's going to be just enough for me to get a sense of what I'm doing. I have 3, and this will be 11.5. All right, so we, I just did this part. Okay, now the next part is a little bigger. It's going to be a little bit longer. Still going to be 11.5 and 6. Now again, as I keep going around, there's one of these and one of these. So there's going to be another little section here. It's going to be three. There's going to be another one of these. That's going to be a six. And this is all 11.5. Now I also have to include these ones. If I if I look at my shape, I have to look at the end pieces. What have we got here? It's three and six. Okay, so they're going to kind of come off of here, I think. It'll be three here and six here. And there's another one of those right over here. There we have a drawing of having taken this object and laid it out. Now I have to calculate the area of all of these pieces. Now you notice that this piece and this piece, 3 by 11.5, those are the same. We have a 6 by 11.5, those two are the same. And we have a 6 by 3 and a 6 by 3. So I don't have to do six formulas. I'm going to have to do three formulas and times each of them by two. So I've got three different formulas that I'm going to use. They're all rectangles. So it's the same formula three different times. And I think I'll start with these two. So that's going to be 6 and 3. That gives me 18. Again, there's two of them. So I'm going to times them by 2. Gives me 36. And from my original question, centimeters squared, because this is area. All right, now I'm going to go to the one that's 3 by 11.5. Again, I have to times that by 2, because there are two of them. And then the next one is the 6 by 11.5. Again, I have to times that by 2, because there are two of them. And there I have those three numbers. Now I have to add them all up. Gives me a final total. Of 243 centimeters squared. That's how you can calculate the surface area of a rectangular prism like that one.